How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to upload multiple pictures to your Instagram. Um, for a while I, I thought there was a functionality in the app that lets you do it, but no, you actually have to download a separate app in order to be able to do that. And I'll show you, um, let me show you the app I'm going to use and show you today. So the app is called, it's called Pick Frame. Okay. Now, when you go to the App Store, you're going to see a couple of different apps that are going to be like kind of similar to it. So, I want to kind of show you because I just downloaded it today and I'm already loving it. So, just to show you the couple different ones I was uh, kind of debating between. When you put in Pick Frame, P I C Frame, these are like the top five that come up. And there's like Photo Collage HD, there's uh, Photo Frame. So, I kind of went through them. And pick frame seems to have the most um, um, like different uh, patterns of like how you can arrange the photos. Just to show you an example right here, and we're actually going to go in the app, and I'm going to show you how to do it too. But uh, go right here. This just shows you a couple of different layouts you can do of your photos here. And I found the functionality is like super simple. In terms of how you put the photos in and adjust it and have fun with it. So let's get in the app here so we can have some fun with it. Close it out here. And we're going to go to pick frame and open that up. This app is 99 cents. It is not free, but it is worth every penny. Okay? So don't stress about the money. Just get it because it's a really awesome app. Uh, so the very beginning when you open the app, this is, these are your options here. If we tap the corner here, you can pick different like ratios, like a three to two ratio. You can go four three, you can go two three, or three four. So those are different layout options you have. I just like to go one one, and then you can swipe over, and there's a big list of um, options, and you can get really in depth. I love like stuff like this, and that's really cool. Okay. So, I'm going to pick uh, just a basic one, uh, one that has five. Let's see. I'm going to go with this one right here. Okay. So, you pick it, and it actually will do a little uh, tutorial to kind of show you for the first time how it works. But you just tap in the square, and it will automatically pull up your um, camera roll. And so I've taken some pictures here of my hand just to have something to show. So it'll process it. It pulls it from your photos and throws it in. So that's my five. Tap on the next one. Four. And I'll do them all for you here. Then I'm going to go over some of the effects you have. And this is our three. Maybe I should have did like one and two or something. It's all good. I just love that there's so many options uh, in terms of the layouts. When I was going through the other uh, apps, it seemed like this one had the most uh, available options. So, got to take advantage of what's out there, you know. And the last one here is our number one. Okay. So, now we have uh, five photos in there. Okay. And so... You can click on options, and in here you can actually adjust the shade. So watch how the corners change to real thick boxes. Or if it's one to have a little bit of round shape on them. See that? And then you can also adjust the shadow of the corners. Kind of hard to see it uh, far away from the camera, but... Um, Watch the edges. Watch what's happening to the edges. So a little shadow one there. Okay. And then I'm going to take that off. I don't like the shadow though. And in fact, I want them to corners not to be so thick. So just enough like that. And then we can go to style. And then you can kind of uh, adjust the uh, color around. So we can put a nice little blue around there. You can adjust how much it's shrunk in or not. You could even pick a pattern to go behind it. That's kind of cool too. 
Let's go with the. Let's see. I like that one. Bam! So now. We're, we're finished here. I'm trying to get back to the main. Oh, go to adjust. Alright, so this is cool here. Now we have our little wooden pattern around the back. Now you might not get this in depth when you upload it, but you know, I'm big on options. I just want to be able to do cool stuff, um, you know, knowing that it's out there. Uh, let's see. And yeah, that's about it there. Can adjust how wide again it is and all that stuff. And then adjust. You can switch. You can actually move the photo in the section, adjust like where it's showing. Um, so that's kind of cool. You hold down. You can actually um, supposed to be able to move a photo like over like that if you want to too. So there's just so much built into it. This video is getting too long, so let me finish up here. Um, I think I just. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. So now you would hit share. Okay, and then you can save it, copy it, email it, Facebook it, Flickr, Twitter, Tumblr, other apps. I'm going to go for Instagram because that was the whole point of the video. So hit Instagram. And now it's going to take it and it'll throw it right into your Instagram app. So make sure you have Instagram downloaded. I'm sure you do. And um, it'll take you right to the next page. So you can go either Instagram or, or Evernote. I'm going to hit Instagram. And then it'll literally throw you right into that app. And then it'll let you put the Instagram filters on it to give it that last little effect before you upload it. So in a nutshell, this has been how to upload multiple pictures to Instagram at one time. And using the app Pick Frame. Okay. And now you have all the cool little Instagram, you know, stuff. So, and after that, we hit there, and it's the regular procedure. So, hope that was helpful. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Subscribe to H2 Tech Videos, and have a good one.